Okay, well, here's my Raspberry Pi at last. How long have I been waiting for this? Um, <laughs> believe it or not, I've got another one on the space, so um, I thought I'd, I'd give you uh, a quick look. It's only very, very brief, but um, yeah, it, it's really small. I mean, you know, credit card, I mean, it really is a credit card size computer. Um, stunning what they've got on here. Anyway, uh, let's take this pull away and I'll show you in action. Right, now the first thing, the interesting thing, which kind of surprised me, was this, that uh, I've done this on two monitors now, and, and I'm sure there's a reason for this, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, um, but the uh, monitor settings, for some reason, it thinks my 1920 by 1080 p is 1824 by 984 and I've never seen that. Probably nothing serious, um, you know, as I said, um, just something that needs uh, tweaking, but uh, that was that was kind of interesting. Um, but my monitor just basically puts it in the middle of the display, so this is actually a very good TV, this. Right, so let's uh, cancel that, and the usual basic, this is quite a basic, um, I, don't know, I don't know if that's how, I don't want to sound bad, but it's not like your um, flashlight Ubuntu with all flash effects and stuff, this is quite basic. Now bear in mind, this is not a super fast computer, it's not meant to be, and it's um, also only got 256 megabytes of RAM. So anyway, we've got some accessories, some education stuff, some tools. There's your web browser, which is quite good. Um, a few other bits and pieces in here. Programming, some programming tools, mostly around Python to be fair. Uh, there's a music player, and then there's some system tools, task manager and so on. Uh, preferences, anyway, that's... Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick run through of AROS. So I've got it already ready to go in here. I'm running it from a shell at the moment, so uh, later on we'll either make it auto run or um, which I think would be the ideal thing just boot straight into it okay so this can start up so now you can see his and this is Broadway X from Pascal um, which is a, a nice distribution it's arm based obviously um, and uh, it's designed to, to act as a hybrid it's more than just a window manager. some people have described it as a window manager and even Pascal's described it as that, but it's a lot more than that. Um, it can, you know, be be your default window manager if you like. It's really, a window manager is a wrong. You can't call it a window manager because that means it's controlling Linux windows, and this isn't. But it is a great a great way of working if you like the Amiga way of doing things. You've got you can work it just like you would in a, a normal Amiga. You've got your normal layout. Um, so let's open up press now. Comments have been made about the speed because I did a video um, a little while ago showing on a much faster machine. Now, I, I, I was picked up on that, and I, and I do agree they are right. Um, this is you can actually see how fast this is working. So, this is not a super fast computer, but it's not meant to be. It's a 25 pound computer for kids to play with, and uh, I think this is uh, this is going to perform quite nicely for them. The actual I, I, what I found is that the process is pretty quick, but the graphics is not super quick. So it's a bit like actually running on a um, an, an old Amiga graphics card that is put in, say for example, like a CyberVision or something like that. You know that kind of performance rather than modern day super fast graphics. Um, so let's uh, let's go back and let's open up couple of applications. Now you'll see down the left hand side you can see Blender, Chromium and Abbey Word. Uh, this, the Broadway X is designed so that it will talk to Linux and actually launch applications from within the Amiga using an LX command. I, I believe, and I may be wrong, was written by Michael Schultz again. Um, but uh, it's designed so that uh, you can launch applications so it integrates nicely so you can get the best of the software on Linux but use the um, the AROS user interface and just work work within that. So let's open up something. Uh, let's go multi view. Now, of course, there's not an awful lot of software that's been ported to AROS ARM. Um, that's something that if people sit, get any interest in this, I'm hoping that um, that will change. Let me just find uh, an image. Here we go. Now that's a bit on the large side, so I will hang on. I will shrink that down. Let's grab that. Sorry, my mouse is not particularly quick. Oh, hang on. There we go. And we'll move that over here. So you can see, I think, hopefully this will give you an idea of the performance of what the, how this uh, this hardware will, will perform. 
Okay, uh, let me, in fact, let me just, if I turn on, um, let me see, Gwiz uh, Tools. Oh, I must be going blind, I think. Right, if I go and turn on all files, get commodities. Okay, now hopefully this will give you a feel for how how fast this runs. Now you can see that it's redrawing, yeah? Well, you know what I mean, it's how fast it redraws it. Um, there are a few little issues, obviously. There's things like, the, well, for one thing, there's a technical thing, a back-in store function, which is not available on newer Linuxes. It was on the old driver. So if I was to minimise this and then open it back up again, you, we'd lose our graphics and have to update screen. So that's something that um, needs to be addressed, which I hope to address during this project. But you can see, I mean, it's working. Um, you know, for I don't want to say, or for a 25 pound computer, what do you expect? Um, but this is running on like a massive display, and, and it's performing reasonably well. Um, so the the market this is aimed at, I think this is going to be uh, pretty pretty useful. Um, so let me see. Let's open up a shell. Now the one thing I, I will say, I do think actually that um, Pascal's got this just right. Because you're going to get the best of both worlds. If the more software we can bring over, the more software we can bring over from um, uh, from the uh, x86 AMOS world, the better. Uh, and in the meantime, we've got access to all the uh, Linux. So um, I'm going to just really call it a bit of a day then. So you, just to give you a brief idea of what it's going to be like, um, and hope that um, that's piqued your interest. And as we go on. Um, then uh, we'll have more things to show you. Okay, all right, cheers, bye.